Okay, I'd just like to say that I did not fill that out. Um, <clears throat> however, the story is mine. Um, this is, uh, turns out that's not normal. So um, throughout high school, I, I was never a big drinker. I would actually go so far as to say, I don't think that I really touched alcohol throughout my entire high school career. Um, I just grew up conservatively, and I always heard stories about people doing stupid things when they were drunk, and I just thought, like, I'm above that. Like, <laughs> too many, like, whoopses there. Like, I just, I just don't want to do that. So, um, college happened, and <laughs> um, <laughs> about, well, towards the end of my freshman year, when everybody was planning spring break, I decided... Um, that I wanted to visit my best friend who lives in New York City. And so my sister and I decided we were going to go out there for spring break. I just want to preface this by saying um, my sister is the kind of person who sends me text messages routinely um, that one I want to post on like texts from last night, if anybody knows that website. <laughs> um, <clears throat> most recent example of that would be she sent me a text that said... Um, it was like on a Saturday morning and I got this text, well it was probably like Saturday afternoon. Um, it said, hey, LOL, woke up on the lawn um, <laughs> wearing a cap that didn't belong to me that said haters gonna hate <laughs> and I was clutching a rubber ducky. <laughs> so this is the person I go on this trip with. This is like me, I don't drink, I've never like experienced that whole scene. So anyway, um, I don't know about you guys, but I believe in like premonitions and on the flight over to Manhattan, my left, my, my left, my left arm went numb. This doesn't really factor into the story, but I do think that it's interesting. <laughs> when, when you... When you find out my, my big whoops. So anyway, my, like, my arm is numb. That went away eventually, but I, it was weird and significant, I think. So anyway, um, we arrive at our lodgings, which um, and in an effort to save money, we had like booked a student hostel. I don't think it was a hostel. <laughs> you open the door and there's like a bed. That's it. There was a naked man in the hallway when we brought up our luggage. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're like still going to have a good spring break. So um, keep in mind, this is right around the time, that little window of time when Four Loco was still legal in New York City. Um, so I hadn't seen my friend in a long time. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to like have a big girl experience. So we had this, this night. Um, I don't remember a whole lot of it, but I have been told that I introduced myself as motherfucker <laughs> to people I didn't know. Um, there were phone calls to Japan made. Um, when I woke up in the morning, our room was coated in um, powdered sugar. I'm not kidding. Someone had projectile vomited a red velvet cupcake on the wall. Um, and... One of the few things that I do remember from this night is that um, I had, and, and, and most of this was on video camera. I don't ever bring a video camera on your spring break. <laughs> we did. Um, so I know why there was like urine all over the luggage. Um, so, that night happened, and I forgave myself and came to terms with all the damage that was done. Um, and I, and we, we, you know, we got back, and like everybody's bragging about their spring breaks, and I'm just like, I assumed that this night was normal. I did. And uh, so I got back, and um, I meet up with, with my best friend, and... Um, <clears throat> I'm like, so yeah, like how was your spring break? And she tells me about hers and, and I'm like, Hannah, my night was so wild. Like <laughs> I peed all over the luggage. <laughs> and she's just like, 
It turns out that is not normal. <laughs> Whoops. 